First of COVID-19 patients now have a new lifeline and an alternative therapy. Chicago area doctors say it could create a rapid turnaround when a ventilator proves useless. CBS 2 Stephen Gray spoke to a, a recovered patient and physicians who hope to use it as a breakthrough treatment. It is the critical knowledge of this team of cardiovascular doctors and nurses that is forging a path in treating COVID-19 patients. Once they get on a ventilator, some of them uh, do not improve. Physicians at Advocate Christ Medical Center in Oak Lawn now using this, an ECMO machine. It is kind of a last resort because they don't have any further treatments that they can undergo. It's not a replacement, but a dire alternative to a ventilator. It acts as an outside heart or lung that extracts blood, adds oxygen, and pumps blood back into the body. A respiratory relief for one patient, the hospital's first success. Thank you so much. Congratulations. This is 53 year old Joe Ciroletti going home on Tuesday, but his rapid decline in health began almost a month ago. He got so sick, a hospital in Joliet could no longer care for him. He later woke up in Oak Lawn, hooked up to an ECMO machine. It was a little rough. But with only mild discomfort and days on the device, he was out of the ICU. My body just kind of assumed breathing again. Um, and a few days after that, they took me off of oxygen altogether. It was a culture shock seeing this transition because, again, we're not used to this patient population, so it was a quick adapt. The technique with which we support them continues to evolve and change, uh, but we have been very encouraged by our early results. I'm 100% grateful that there, there was that option, and without it, you know, we wouldn't be here talking. Doctors here are now using transformative measures to treat dozens of people with ECMO. Hospitals across the nation are sharing their varying results to study the effects of this on different patients. Reporting in Oakland, Stephen Graves, CBS 2 News.